This is a Netgear Wi-Fi router. It's on the N750 standard. The model is WNDR4300. In this video, we're going to plug it in. We're gonna get everything connected, plug it in the computer, get it set up, and get it online. So, the first thing I like to do when I set up my router is to plug it into the modem. Got my trusty Cat5 here going to the modem in the other room. The other end is plugged into the modem. This end's gonna go into this yellow port labeled internet. You can see that it's labeled internet and it's yellow. It's different than all the rest of the ports. So we got that plugged in. Now I want to plug in this yellow cable that came with the router. I'm going to plug it into any one of these LAN ports. Doesn't matter which one, but I always go with number one because that satisfies my brain. And the other, the other end of that yellow cable is going to go in the computer. Your cable, obviously, or your Ethernet port in your computer might be in a different spot, but mine's right there. Once that's done, we need power. So we're going for the power. I want to make sure that button's turned off. Okay, so it's out, so it's off now. So we're going to go ahead and... Plug it in. So we got power, but the button's off, so we shouldn't have any lights. All right. So if you bought this router, this router brand new, then you may not need to do this part, or if you bought it used, I would recommend doing it. But to reset all the settings to default on this router, you first, Let's see if I can find it on here. Oh, it doesn't look like it has a little uh, reset button on it. Usually they have a little pin, pin point where you can stick a pin in there and reset all the settings. I don't see it. Unless that's what that is. That must be what that is right there. Oh, restore factory settings, there it is. So, we're gonna turn it on by pressing this power button. So what I'm trying to do here is restore all the settings to factory. Trying to restore all the settings to factory default. It's turning on now. So pretty much any time it's on, you just take your pen, and I'm basically going to stick the pen into that hole there and there's a button in there. And I'm gonna hold it in there until oh, the pen is actually too big. Let me go find something else, I'll be right back. All right, so I've got this little pin thing. It's gonna have to be like a safety pin or something like this. And I'm gonna go ahead and just put it in there. Hold on, I got one hand holding the camera so this is kind of difficult. So you want that to go straight in and you just press it in. Oh, I gotta make sure I hold it in there. Press it in. It actually happened really quick, but let's see if the power light is gonna flash. It did it before I brought the camera over, but all the lights like flashed and stuff. So that means it's reset. So I reset all the settings and the router should be restarting. See the lights coming back on. So the router should be restarting with new factory settings. And one thing I want to point out is on the bottom here, you have a sticker with a bunch of information. And usually, not all the time, but usually you'll see on the bottom right here, you see the MAC address, A00460, blah, 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 blah. So if you are if you have this router right now and you're using it to replace an old router or a different router, 
that was working on your internet connection, you may need to do a trick called MAC address spoofing, and we're going to need that old MAC address. So you're going to want to write it down. For example, I wrote my old MAC address down here for my old router. You don't, you don't want to write your MAC address down from this router, the one you're setting up right, right now. You want to you want to write down the MAC address from your old router. Now, if you don't have that, don't worry. If you can't find it or don't understand it or don't want to do it, it's okay. This is just going to help you get your router online more quickly without having to talk to anybody or whatever, calling anybody. So, oh, we dropped the box. There's the box. And the router is all turned on and stuff. The lights are all lit up. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go over to the computer and configure the settings. We're going to go ahead and we got to get in the browser and open it up. So let's teleport into the computer screen. Now that we're on the computer screen, you want to open up a browser. It can be Chrome, it can be Internet Explorer, it can be whatever browser you like. I'm going to use Edge down here. And then continue the web page, not recommended. Is it trying to go to? Oh, okay. So it, it automatically tried to open up this web page so I can set the router up. If this doesn't happen for you, when you open up your browser, just go to. Oops, just go to this address right here. You don't need to worry about this end part. Just go to http colon slash slash www.routerlogin.net and it'll bring up, it looks like you're going to the internet on some internet page, but you're really not. It's just a page on the on that's actually on the router. So when you get to this page, you're going to configure your internet connection. Do you want Netgear Genie to help? Yes, I want Netgear Genie to determine the appropriate settings. That's what we're going to stick with and go to next. So I'm anticipating that my internet connection is not going to work. It may work for you if you're setting up this router for the first time on a brand new internet connection. Um, it'll probably work for you. But if not, if you're like me and it's going to give an error, then I'll show you how to get around it. So you wait for it. It's detecting. It's probably looking for an IP and all this other stuff. Oh, excuse me. So here it goes. Come on. This process this process can take a minute or two. Please wait. So if yours works, you'll be able to just go next next through the whole thing. Um, but like I said, for for the people that are like me, where it's not going to work because we have, if you had a router plugged in previously. Or if you had your computer plugged directly into the modem, then when you install this router, it's going to give you issues like it is right here. So like I said, yours might work. Mine's giving me issues, but that's okay. We're going to, we're going to fix it in a minute. So it's telling me, it's, it's telling me some ways to fix it, but I'm going to go to, I corrected the problem with the Ethernet cable. I'm going to go to none of the above and go to next. Problem detecting the internet IP address. Uh, for this, we're going to go to no. I did not get a fixed static IP for my ISP. So you, if you have a static IP, you know because your your um, ISP gave it to you. So you might know, you will know if you need to select this one, but for most of us that have no idea or we don't have a static IP, we're going to go with this option and go to next problem detecting the internet connection. All right. So this is the part where you do Mac address cloning. So remember I said you had to get your Mac address from your previous router. If you had one, you can go ahead and type that in here. So for me, my old router, is going actually you know what we're going to do it later we're going to do this later don't even worry about this because some of us don't have this or don't know what it, don't know what to put in here so we'll do this part later so we'll just leave that blank and go to next if it'll let us next okay so it's going to make us okay 
So we're going to type in 0, 0, 1, D. This is what I type in. You don't type in the same thing as me. You're going to type in your MAC address of your old router. 7E, 0D, E4, 4D. So, if you don't know what to type in here, if you don't have the old MAC address, or you don't have anything to type in here, go ahead and type in the same thing as me, and we'll fix it later. But if you know your router's MAC address, type it in there and go to next. <clears throat> so basically, if you don't know your router's MAC address, but you can't connect to the internet for whatever reason, you're just going to have to call your ISP and tell them that you got a new router. So they're going to go into their system. They're going to reset that MAC address information. So you'll be able to use your new router. I'll, you don't have to tell them anything about MAC addresses. You don't have to say anything about that. So you just call them up and tell them you got a new router and they'll be able to reset it for you. So this MAC address spoofing thing is basically just an easy way to get around having to make that phone call. <laughs> Cause I know it's annoying calling the ISP. Sometimes they'll put you on hold or sometimes they won't know what to do, but if you don't have that MAC address, it's, it's not a big deal. You just have to call your ISP and you'll be able to get around it. And I'll show you um, how to take that. Uh, if you don't have that MAC address and you put mine in that I put in, I'll show you how to remove that in a minute. But for right now, this is, you gotta wait for this. I saw it like reset or something or like uh, refresh the page. So it's got to, uh, it has to apply the settings. It has to restart the router. So right now it's probably just waiting for the router to reset. It looks like my, my internet light on my router, it turned green for a second and turned back. So it looks like it's trying. And it's green again. Question is, so it's doing something. I see it doing something. I see that light change in color. I'm an impatient person. This is painstakingly slow. <laughs> Light's still green. My power light is green. My internet light is green. My 2.4 gigahertz network is green. My 5 gigahertz network is blue. And land port number one is orange. Oh, now it's changing. Here we go. All right, congratulations. You successfully connected to the internet. So the network, the 2.4 gigahertz network is Netgear 26. And the five gigahertz network is the same thing with 5G at the end. So you know that that's the five gigahertz network. The wireless network key is Manic Obo 797. Uh, it's telling you to download the Genie app. We're not going to do that right now. Oh, maybe we are. Install the Genie app after the download completes. What if I just want to skip it? I don't want to do that right now. Firmware upgrade assistant. Please wait a moment. So I guess trying to upgrade the firmware. New, no new firmware version available. Okay. So this is netgear.com. So I should be able to go to Google.com. Yeah. 
Why didn't it go to Google.com? There we go. And now for this, we want to go back to the router login. Username is admin, password is password, all lowercase. So now, since we already put, put the um, MAC address of our old router in, most of us should be able to get on the internet from this point. But if you didn't have that MAC address, remember if, if like I said, if you typed in the same MAC address that I did, you might still be having issues. So if you're at this point, uh, what you want to do is we want to, I think it's advanced, we want to remove that um, MAC address that I had you put in. Um, but if you're on the internet, if your internet is working right now, do not do this step. So, okay, where is it? We want to look for WAN setup. And where is the MAC address? Administration, maybe? I didn't come in here ahead of time to do this. So I'm doing this all live. Seems like it should be in, in the way in setup. Router settings. I'm not seeing it. I'm not seeing the setting. Here it is. So you want to go to basic and you want to go to internet. And if you typed in my MAC address here, it's not going to work. So all you really have to do is use default address up here. Go back to that. And then say, apply the setting right here. And then what you'll have to do is call your ISP up and tell them you got a new router. And they'll have to, they'll have to reset the settings for you so you can use your new router. But again, if you don't, if you were on the internet already and your MAC address spoofing worked, then you don't have to do this. So it's it's called MAC address spoofing or MAC address cloning. It, you can call it either one. If you got have, if you have like a family member or a friend who's having trouble with their um, getting their router online, if they have another router that they used, you can come in here and save the day and be like, oh well, your your, your other router worked on the internet, but this one isn't. Oh, let me show you something. You go in here and you go to routerlogin.net. You log into their interface. You go to the basic tab and you go to internet and you go down here and you go use this MAC address and you type in the MAC address of their old router. And if you apply that, they should be able to get on the internet so you can save the day for other people. So I hope you learned something. I hope this video was interesting. Hopefully it didn't carry on too long while I tried to figure that out. But I appreciate you watching and you have a wonderful day. Peace.